This is the question given in May 2019. Let's see what is the question. A block of mass M lying on a smooth horizontal surface and is attached to a spring of spring constant K. Now initially at rest in its equilibrium position. So the block is at rest initially at its equilibrium position. That means the spring is in its natural length. Then if now the block is pulled with a constant force F. So this term is important constant force F. Then we need to find what is the maximum speed of the block. Let's analyze the situation once again. So here we have a spring and a block is attached to it and we are pulling it with force constant force F. When you pull this uh, uh, with a force the spring will extend let's let's say it extended to uh, some x distance what is happening right side force is constant force left side there is a force called spring force we call that as kx right that is kx so when you increase the x spring force increases so left side force increases initially the net force is in uh, right direction right is towards right direction because uh, f is greater naturally than the kx initially when uh, it uh, when the x is increasing kx also increases and eventually it will be equal to f at some point the kx will be equal to f at that point net force is zero so let us assume this is the point where we have net force zero that means the constant force is equal to this spring force kx up to here the block will accelerate and it gains velocity as time goes on but after this point what happens this f will be less than the kx because kx still increases after this but f is constant when kx is greater than this after this point when kx is greater than this accelerate net force will be in this direction towards left side and acceleration will be towards left side that means the body gets deaccelerated that means velocity uh, decreases after this point so where do you find a maximum velocity you find maximum velocity at this point where net force on the body is zero so that is important point you get maximum speed at position where f net is zero what is f net f minus kx f minus kx is equal to zero that means f is equal to kx that means x equal to f by k so at this position you get maximum speed now we need to find what is that maximum speed for that i will apply work energy theorem what is work energy theorem is telling the change in kinetic energy is equal to work done here how many forces are there two forces so we need to consider what is the work done by f what is the work done by spring force and then we equate that to change in for, uh, change in kinetic energy so what is work energy theorem is telling total work is equals to change in kinetic energy and the total work is work by f plus work by spring is equals to delta k so let's see what is the uh, work done by f uh, this f moved the block by distance x so the work done is force into displacement and if you see the uh, the spring force is acting in the um, opposite direction to the displacement so work will be negative by the spring and what is the work done by the spring half k x square right this is the work done or the potential energy stored in the spring and that is equal to change in uh, kinetic energy initially this is at rest they said is at rest in its equilibrium position finally let us assume it cuts maximum velocity v max at x so the change in kinetic energy is half m v max square half m v max square so in place of x i can substitute f by k i already calculated so i substitute that f into f by k minus half f square by k square is equals to half m v max square 
if I cancel this is f square by k and here k k will be cancelled here also we get uh, f square by 1 by 2 f square by k so eventually we get 1 by k f square by k 1 by 2 1 by 2 cancel and m comes down therefore the answer will be v max is equals to f by root m k so the option correct option is c the answer is c